New York City has played host to some of the greatest sporting rivalries in the world, from Giants Cowboys. We hate the Cowboys. They don't like us, we don't like them. To the Subway Series. That suck! People are yelling at each other in the stands, people are throwing food, beers at each other. But this summer, a sporting divide on a whole nother level is coming to the Big Apple. That'll make anything you've seen at Giants or Yankee Stadium pale in comparison. That's because on July 26, the Madrid derby between Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid is coming to MetLife Stadium for the first time ever. And trust me, you're not going to want to miss this one. Now to understand why this derby coming to New York is such a big deal, you need to understand that one of these clubs is arguably the biggest deal in all of club soccer. Real Madrid are bigger than any sports club in the world. It's that simple. The Madrid has been in 100 years, making history dentro the world of football. That's why it's considered the club number one in the world. Put simply, Real Madrid are the kings of club soccer, yeah. on and off the pitch. For us, glory is, is the only thing that matters. They're the Lakers, Yankees, and Cowboys yeah. all put into one, and then some. And everything they're a part of is a big deal. This team that has won so much for so long, yeah. that always has the best players, makes it an unbelievable yeah. team when you look at every aspect. On the pitch, they've won all that there is to win. Quieres ser campeón de la Liga, Real Madrid. Quieres ser campeón de la Champions, Real Madrid. Quieres ser campeón del mundo, Real Madrid. We're talking more Spanish titles than anyone else. Real Madrid con 33 ligas. More Champions Leagues than anyone else. Real Madrid la ha ganado 13 veces. El segundo tiene siete. They won the last three until this year when it was won by Liverpool. They won four out of the last five. It's a, it's a period of dominance not seen since Real Madrid won the first five European Cups. And they've done it all using the global superstars of every decade, from the 50s. So in the 1950s, Real Madrid signed Alfredo Di Stefano. Ha sido el mejor jugador de la historia de este club. To the 90s. You start with Luis Figo. Then you go for Zidane, who everyone recognizes as the best player in the world. Then you go for Ronaldo, who's just been the best player at the World Cup. You've already got Roberto Carlos. You've already got Iker Casillas. You've already got Raul. You then go and buy David Beckham. To, of course, today. Cristiano Ronaldo, Sergio Ramos, Luka Modric. It's, it's Ocean's Eleven. Then there's off the pitch where everywhere they go they sell out stadiums from China to Morocco and everywhere in between thanks to their incredible international following that's arguably the biggest sporting fan base in the world. Según nuestro departamento de marketing, más de 600 millones en todo el mundo. Madrid no es solo Madrid, es un club que es en todas las partes del mundo que se habla solo de un club. And one of the biggest contributors to this incredible fan base is here in the United States, thanks to the many peñas or fan clubs who support Real Madrid. We all share this passion for Real Madrid. So we gather, we watch games together, we suffer together. Even if I move today to Bangladesh, Madrid is still going to be flowing in my veins. But as much as Real Madrid have consistently conquered Europe in the world, playing and winning the biggest matches there is to compete in, at their heart, they proudly boast of being a team that's from Madrid. Estamos orgullosos de ser de Madrid y de ser españoles. En la ciudad de Madrid, el Madrid es el Real Madrid. And so whenever they face the other big club in Madrid, Atletico, arguably the only other side who can challenge that title, where you can bet it gets heated. It's always tense moment. We're talking about two of the best teams in Europe. Vamos a ver, siempre que juegas contra Atlético Madrid no hay partido amistoso. Can Atlético fan come in here? No. They can't walk in. No. Only Real Madrid fans. But this is New York. We're ages away from Madrid. It's that serious. It's that deep. Now, for the first time ever, it's that match that's coming to the United States. I get to take my daughter to, to a game and just experience what I experienced as a child. It's something that's priceless. And if the rivalry isn't enough, this fixture on July 26th at MetLife Stadium will see Real Madrid's latest signings from Luka Jovic to the $100 million Eden Hazard take part in their first ever derby. Real Madrid have already spent more money than in any other summer. Eden Hazard, for me, is the best player that, that we could buy at this moment. A fantastic footballer who's wanted to come to Real Madrid for a very long time. Add to this star Real Madrid coach Zinedine Zidane who will be using this exact match as his first proper return after Real Madrid's disastrous season last year, so him have to come back to turn around the powerhouse club's results. He's here to, to kind of get the team back into the right track. What is the right track? The right track is winning. And all in all, you've got a match that goes far beyond just one of the best derbies in European soccer. Estos dos equipos han jugado dos finales de la Liga de Campeones en los últimos cinco años. The bottom line is it's, it's one of the great games in world football. And, and if you have the chance to go and see one of the great games in world football, you go, don't you? But if you thought this fixture meant a lot to the Real Madrid side of the city, we'll just wait till you hear how much it means to the Atletico side on the next episode.